All right, good evening. It's 1045. We've got a severe thunderstorm dropping baseball to softball size hail now from Joe Pool Lake into Cedar Hill, DeSoto, Glen Heights, into southern Duncanville. This storm now has multiple reports of three to four inch diameter hail. This thunderstorm is now capable of producing grapefruit to softball size hail located Joe Pool Lake, Cedar Hill, southern Duncanville into DeSoto. Glen Heights moving northeast at 45 miles an hour towards southern Dallas, DeSoto, Lancaster, Hutchins, Cockrell Hill into south Dallas. At 10.42 p.m., a severe thunderstorm located over Cedar Hill is moving northeast at 45 miles an hour. This storm has produced grapefruit to softball size hail in Mansfield, Burleson. This is a destructive storm for southwest Dallas County, including Cedar Hill, Duncanville, DeSoto, southwest Dallas, south Dallas. And again, this thunderstorm has a history and is capable of producing softball size hail that will break out windows and absolutely annihilate your roof so please get away from any exterior facing windows be away from windows and do not go outside and try and pick up any hailstones while the hail is still falling this kind of hail will kill you if it hits you on the head it's no different than a baseball or a softball hitting you at the head if it was thrown by a pro leaguer being thrown at 100 miles an hour. That's how fast these hailstones are falling out of this storm, probably about 100 miles an hour. So please do not go outside and try to pick up the hail. At 10.46 p.m., leading edge of the hail core now over Duncanville, DeSoto, about to move into Lancaster, South Dallas on Interstate 20. The potential for golf ball, tennis ball, baseball, grapefruit, softball size hail. That is giant hail up to four inches in diameter. Those of you in southeast Dallas County, Bulk Springs, Hutchins, South Dallas, southeast Dallas, Mesquite, Sunnyvale, Garland, Rockwall County, western Kaufman County, Forney, Please be ready, then know that this storm continues to produce significant to giant hail that is causing big-time hail damage. Again, we've had 4-inch hail confirmed in Burleson. That is softball. We've had 4-inch hail confirmed in Mansfield. That is softball. We've had tennis ball to baseball size hail confirmed in Cedar Hill. We've had baseball size hail with this all the way back into Somerville County earlier in Hood County. This is a particularly dangerous situation with a thunderstorm producing baseball to softball size hail moving northeast at 50 miles an hour. Outdoor warning sirens will be going off for this due to the giant hail ongoing. This storm is not tornadic, but you should treat it like it is and the fact that you need to be away from exterior facing windows. Hailstones hit any of your side windows on your home, it is going to probably go through the window. Cars, not a great idea. Most vehicle windows are going to be destroyed by this kind of hail if you get hit by baseball to softball size hail. Of that, I guarantee you, I have personal experience. We do have the potential for this to continue on quite a bit longer, it looks like. This storm, again, could impact Hutchins, South Dallas, Southeast Dallas, Lancaster, Bulk Springs, Mesquite to Segoville in the next 20 minutes. And again, this is a thunderstorm with a history and a long history of producing golf ball, tennis ball, baseball, grapefruit, softball size hail all the way back into Hood County, Johnson County, Joshua, Burleson, Mansfield, Cedar Hill, Joe Pool Lake. This is a hailstorm that will destroy vehicle windows, it will destroy your roof, and it will cause significant hail damage. It is a direct threat to life and property, especially if you're outside. Please do not attempt to go outside and collect hailstones while the hail is still falling. Let the hail fall and then go outside and pick it up afterwards. I promise you the craters it leaves the craters that it leaves in your lawn will still be there by the time the hail stops falling after five minutes. This thunderstorm is a dangerous storm with baseball to softball size hail now moving into places. Well, here, let's just switch to the real time radar and see if that works. Hail core now Duncanville, DeSoto, Lancaster approaching Interstate 20 from Spur 408 all the way to Interstate 45. The potential for baseball to softball size hail moving northeast at 45 miles an hour. That means you need to treat this storm 
as it is as if it were producing a tornado and the aspects that this is going to be a situation where we have major major issues All right, so we just got visual evidence of softball size hail at Joe Pool Lake. We've gotten pictures out of Cedar Hill of golf ball size hail. We've got hail out of portions uh Burleson, yep. So again, we've got a storm that has dropped softball size hail now on Joe Pool Lake. It is now on Interstate 20 in southwest Dallas and Duncanville. Moving into southern Dallas, should have just gone through DeSoto, now in Lancaster, about to move into south Dallas, southeast Dallas. Hutchins, Bulk Springs within the next 15 minutes. Mesquite by 11.10. Seagoville, especially just north of Seagoville, by 11.10 to 11.15. Lawson and Old Far East Dallas by about 11.10. If this storm continues, Forney by 11.20. The city of Terrell by 11.30. Again, this thunderstorm continues to produce baseball to softball-sized hail. The most recent softball report was Joe Pool Lake. Cedar Hill had up to tennis balls. We've heard of quarters to golf balls in portions of Duncanville. DeSoto into South Dallas in the last several minutes. And we appreciate all of you sending in your hail reports with sending in your hail reports, posting them to us on Twitter at TX Storm Chasers, sharing them with us on the Fans of Texas Storm Chasers group on Facebook and in the YouTube comments, video comments, etc. And again, this is a nasty, nasty storm that has probably just caused hundreds of millions of dollars in hail damage across the southern DFW Metroplex. Uh, given the fact this thing's been dropping baseball to softball size hail all the way back to Joshua, Burleson on I-35, Mansfield, Cedar Hill, this may end up being a billion dollar hail storm, especially the way inflation's gone the last few years. So unfortunately... Uh, given last night's hailstorm, given the hailstorm ongoing now, given the fact we're going to have more storms early tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, Wednesday morning, this isn't going to be the last round of hailers we may have to deal with in the Metroplex over the next 36 hours, unfortunately. So again, we have one severe storm right now. The other storms are gone. They dissipated. The ones in the hill country, they went bye-bye. The cap squished them more than the hairline on my head got squished by the time I turned 30. All right, it is 10.53 p.m., a severe thunderstorm, baseball to softball size hail. Hopefully now it's down to maybe golf ball to tennis ball size, located in South Dallas, the city of Lancaster, moving into Hutchins. This storm does appear to be decreasing in intensity. Hopefully that means the hail sizes have come down from softballs, maybe towards golf ball and tennis ball. Um... Again, that's just not good. So again, we've had four inch diameter hail. That is giant hail measured in Burleson, Mansfield, Joe Lake, into Cedar Hill. And let me tell you, I do, uh, my old house is down near Cedar Hill. Let me tell you, uh, that is uh, just all those m houses, especially there in Lakeside. Oh. Uh, uh, it's not good, but the good news is, if there is good news, and I guess well, there is out of this, this storm is starting to weaken. The hail core has come down a bit, so I'm hopeful that means we're at least not throwing softballs out of this thing, but we still could have tennis ball to baseball size hail. And that means those of you in portions of southern Dallas County, 
South Dallas, Hutchins, Bulk Springs, you are about to have problems with this. Here's the terminal Doppler weather radar data, and this is helpful in the fact it updates about every one minute. Uh, Hail core coming out of Lancaster, about to move into Hutchins, Southeast Dallas, Interstate 45, and Interstate 20. So again, severe storm, the potential for golf ball to baseball size hail now. Coming into Hutchins, about to be in southeast Dallas, the uh, Trinity Forest here in southeast Dallas. Coming up into Bulk Springs, Segoville in the next 10 minutes, damaging hail. We encourage folks to be away from exterior windows in case the hail breaks the window. We encourage folks to be away from all vehicle windows and do not go outside and try to pick up the hail until after the hail has stopped falling trust me the craters left in your lawn the dents on your vehicle or uh, in this case the broken windows from your vehicle will still be there after the hail stops falling going out and getting smacked on the head by hail is not going to do anything except probably kill you so again, we've had baseball to softball size hail measured at uh, Joe Pool Lake and Cedar Hill, softball size hail in Mansfield, softball size hail in Burleson. And this storm continues to push northeast at 45 to 50 miles an hour now, probably dropping golf ball size hail in Hutchins. Now we haven't heard of any recent reports of baseball to softball size hail since Cedar Hill. So I'm hopeful that means this thing has started to calm itself down a wee bit and we can, you know, not have softballs in Hutchins. But again, this thing's still probably dropping golf ball size hail. At least. And that's certainly quite enough to cause hail damage. That's why we want folks to treat this storm seriously and be in a safe place. Sorry, I'm just looking at some of y'all's reports. Thank you for sending us all the um, hail photos after it's safe. We're definitely keeping an eye on these reports. Please, if you're going to send us reports, please let us know your relative location, like town or nearest major intersection, or at least, you know, South DeSoto, North DeSoto, etc., That would be appreciated. And again, this thunderstorm remains capable of producing quarter to golf ball size hail moving northeast out of Hutchins. It'll be on Bulk Springs and Seagoville in the next several minutes. The city of Forney by 11.15 p.m. And we're getting hundreds of hail photos, and uh, most of these are not small pieces of hail. Uh, this is going to be a billion-dollar hail disaster, probably, and that's not even including yesterday's hail in Denton County. Um, honestly, some of these hailstones might be in excess of four and a half inches in diameter. And by the way, if you have really big chunks of hail falling out of the sky, like over five inches in diameter, you may want to put those in the freezer. Um... And measure them with a ruler and take a picture with it. But again, this storm over Hutchins will be moving into Bulk Springs, Segoville by 11.05 to 11.10. Forney, 11.15. If this storm's still going, it could be entering Terrell by 11.25. Quinlan, 11.40. West Tawakany, Tawakany State Park, the lake out there by about 11.50 if the storm is still going. Uh, it's 
weakened compared to what it was 10 to 15 minutes ago and maybe down to golf ball size hail now versus the baseball to softballs but nevertheless the storm continues to be one producing quite a bit of hail okay we're going to go through the list of reports uh, you can keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers Interactive Weather Radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com, and in the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Thank you for all the hail reports. We're going to keep looking over them, and we'll continue posting updates on social media. Again, keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app and the Texas Storm Chasers Interactive Weather Radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com radar. We'll be back if necessary, and we'll continue posting updates to the social media feeds.